Am nome de Padre, Feliz Espírito Santo. Amen. Let me just preface this video by saying, number one, I am a practicing Catholic. Number two, I'm going directly to hell. Not because of the content of this video, but because of the content of my life. I've been bad. Sex ed is a very tricky topic to cover, especially in middle schools. Especially by private Catholic middle schools like the one I went to. They had to say certain things and they had to preach abstinence. So instead of having the nuns teach our sex ed class, they decided to bring in two sex experts to teach sex ed. I was highly disappointed when they marched in two normal looking people and not porn stars. Porn stars, by their very definition, are sex experts. So how could you lie to me like that? Now is as good time as any to say my college career would have been completely different had I been taught sex ed by porn stars. So these sex experts taught our class and basically lied right to all our faces. One line that I always remember, and I quote, If a man and woman are naked in a room together, the woman will get pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. And that was a very difficult concept for me to understand as a young boy who knew nothing about sex. And it was even more difficult for women to understand why I always kept my socks on during sex. Babe, I'm being safe. I got my Nike dry fits on. I think their reasoning behind this outrageous statement was that if they never take their clothes off, they'll never have sex. But that's not true. I've done it before. That's not true, but there's probably an internet video of people having sex with their clothes on. Let me just take a quick look here. Oh, found it. And at public school, I'm sure they're tossing condoms around and getting live demonstrations from their sex ed teachers how to properly execute a jackhammer. At public school, they told us we should wait until we're married and that God should be present in the bedroom when a man and woman make love. Because nothing gets a woman in the mood like saying, the Lord and Savior of our sins will join us in the bedroom tonight. And if that's true, that means God wants to be there each time two awkward virgins go at it for the first time. Which doesn't sound like too much fun to me. I would have more fun at archaeological camp. I really went to one. So thank you Catholic schools for teaching proper sex ed and making young men and women's sexual experiences awkward for all eternity. I kind of feel like a wizard in Harry Potter world dressed like this. God bless you! I absolve you of all your sins! Wingardium Leviosa! So priests are wizards.